Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at another miniature mining ship that's great for bringing along on your adventure because it doesn't take up much room compared to the big old bulky miners that you typically see on the workshop. So this thing that I'm currently standing on is called the Mining Pod S, which is this lovely thing that features hydrogen thrusters and a lone drill up front, as well as a very sleek and compact design that allows it to drill straight forward through an asteroid or through an ore patch on the planet, depending on what you need. There is an alternative on the workshop if you want to use this on a auction planet, but this one is designed to be the jack of all trades and should well get the job done. Pressing F10 and find this in spawn menu, the Mining Pod S is 155 small blocks using no DLC packs and no mods. There's a link to the alternative one on the workshop. But as for that, we just give this a thumbs up, move around towards the very front, have a quick look around the outside, test it out against this nearby asteroid, and I think we'll end it there. And of course, if you are interested in the skybox, I'll be leaving that in the description below. It's just a lovely one with a bunch of clouds below and above. Doesn't really work too well when you're in space, but when you're on a planet, it looks rather fancy. But yes, all the way over to here at the very front, my character can now bugger off just a little bit, off he goes. And this is what we get at the front of the Mining Pod S. So front and centre, what we can see is the drill to drill straight forwards into the ore patches and collect up all the stuff we need. Moving up just a little bit, we've got our standard cockpit to drive this thing around, with two hydrogen thrusters on the left and right hand side to help slow this down. Hydrogen thrusters are the only form of thrusters that appear on this ship, and we do have a toggle in the cockpit to turn off a few of them, because depending on where we are and what we're doing, a couple of them are completely redundant. Yes, yeah, so we see a spotlight too, a light up the darkness, which could be very good for drilling inside an asteroid. And as we have to move around onto the side, we can see a connector underneath, another hydrogen thruster to keep us off the ground, and all the way around on the side, we see an air vent right in front of our cockpit. There's our spotlight with our battery right below it. There's a few more hydrogen thrusters for our left and right hand side, as well as an ore detector in between them. Continuing all the way along, we then see a cargo access for us to load stuff in and out manually. There's our conveyor that goes across to our thrusters at the back, with another cargo container for you to store a few more bits and bobs inside. There's a landing leg below there for you to clamp this down onto your ship once you're done with it. Then around towards the very back of this thing, there's what's going to push us around with an auction tank in the middle. If you were to move all the way up and look down at it, there's a very clear view at the auction tank, as well as a cargo container in the middle. As we were to move towards the front, there's two more hydrogen thrusters, there's a gyroscope, there's a parachute hatch just in case you need it, there's a top down view at our cockpit, then of course our air vent sucking an auction from the surrounding areas to refill that tank at the back, and there is the drill at the very front. So we just move all the way down past this, all the way down to here, there's our connector. And there's some more thrusters, there's a bunch of batteries, there's our landing leg, and that's about it, the outside. And there we go. That's the outside of the Mining Pod S, and it looks bloody fantastic how it's all been set up. It's very compact, it's got everything we need to last a nice long time while mining with this. But now what I can do is just grab hold of my character, and I fly all the way back up to it, and we'll head on inside, take a look at the controls. So in first person view, looking down, this is what we get on our little screens down here. So we've got hydrogen power, there's our lower horizon, there's a fake keyboard, and there's our planet in absolute gravity. As for that, bring up the HUD, third person view. Number one's going to be front thrusters at the front to turn them on and off, going to a little cruise. So there we go, turning it back on. Number two's front thrusters underneath to turn them on and off, just in case we don't need them. So that'll be when we're on a planet, we'll want them on. And when we're in space, we can turn it off just to save on a bit of hydrogen. Number three is to take manual control over the drill, so now we can use our mouse to click it. Then number four is to manually turn it on and off, so we don't need to lift a finger. Number five is for our connector, I need to lock and unlock it. Number eight is for our parachute hatches to open and close. Then number nine is for our antenna to turn it on and off, just in case we want to stay hidden from anyone else on the server. Once to tap number two, we've got nothing else. So now it's time to drive all the way up to this asteroid, collect up all the stone, and we'll go and see how it handles once it's all full up. So moving all the way out to it, now to quite nicely, third person view, making sure we're nice and aligned up, there we go, now it's time to turn it on and start moving forwards, and there we go, we're no longer collecting anything up from the drills, so it's time for me to find the free camera, come all the way up to it, so you can get a good view of what's going on and how I've been drilling. So there we go, without using the right mouse button, we can see that it's got perfect clearance all the way around the vehicle for you to drive straight through an asteroid if you wanted to. Just move around over to the like that, so we can actually see the hole it's making, like I said, perfect clearance. So now what I can do is just come back into first person view, press I, come into the control panel, or even the inventory, come into this, hide all the empty, and this is what we've collected. So we can see our cockpit has got almost 3k, we can see our connector has just over 3k, we've got 8.9 in the drill, we've got another 300 in a couple of small cargo containers, and all the way down to the bottom, there we go. So we've got a nice lot of stuff, it's such a small ship. 
it's time for me to reverse this out from the darkness, and we'll see how it handles. So here we come, nice and slowly, all the way out, and now I feel like I can just gun it. So there we go, we're now out the hole, nothing's damaged, so let's drive this thing around and see how it handles. So moving forwards, as you can expect, we are pretty damn slow, so it'll probably be a good idea to have your ship nearby so it can unload everything it collects with ease without needing to travel too far. But of course we can always turn off the front thrusters and let it just glide along to its destination. But do make sure you have plenty of time putting you and your destination to make sure you can stop, otherwise you might slam straight into it. Anyway, letting that come to a stop, moving left. And moving right, some nice speed with that. Moving down, again some nice speed, moving up. A little bit slow, so let's turn on the extra thrusters, and that's a hell of a lot faster. Then as for gyroscope controls, this is what we get. It's a nice amount of control on this, a tiny bit of weight so it's not too floaty, but for a mining ship that's completely filled up, it's not bad at the end of the day. So yes, that is that for the Mining Pod S. It's an absolutely fantastic little compact mining ship if you want to use it in your world. There'll be linked to it along with the skybox I'm currently using. But to finish off this video, what we're going to do is charge along towards the asteroid, then slam straight into it. And well, that'll be that for this video. So here we come, we're going to come past that asteroid. That was a bit too close, we're not going to get up to maximum speed. We're going to go over to this one. And there we go, that was a lovely crash. All we lost was this drill at the front. That's a very easy repair at the end of the day. Just slap on the new drill and you're good to go. And probably another hydrogen thruster. Looks like we did lose that one on the side. But still, we can drive this thing around, get it back to base, and all is good. So yes, there'll be a link to the description below along with the skybox. I'll be back with another video somewhere soon. Bye bye.